um, as we all know, the last game of the season didn't end well for me. You know, I got that hamstring injury. So, you know, my mindset was, you know, the first, you know, first month or so, I was just, you know, chill, just sit back and relax. And then, you know, I really got into the weight room. And that was that was my biggest thing, you know, is be stronger, you know, uh, from legs up, you know. Uh, and then finally got on the field, you know, after my hamstring built up. And, and I just felt better than ever. So. I weigh about 221, 222 right now. And, you know, last, last year I came in, I was about 223, and it was too heavy. But now it feels it, I can hold it, and I'm running fast. So. Do you have a feeling that last offseason, seeing how things got moved, seeing the improvement, you know, affected you on the field that required you to be a little bit more aggressive than you were last year? Yeah. Um, like, last year, how many yards I had for? Nine oh nine nine something and you know, I wrote that down. I was like this year I I, I got bigger goals for myself. So you know, I wrote that down, I looked at it every day in the mirror. And you know, that, that that motivated me to go out there and work and work every day. So that's that's how I look at it. Did you literally write it on the mirror? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I have I have my goals in the mirror right now for what I want this season. So just you know, I wanna obviously wanna be a pro bowler. Uh, you know, I wanna go for a thousand this year and you know and just get to the playoffs. At the end of the day, it's the main goal. So. Did you get 908 up on the Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I got I got a thousand. I got one K on on my mirror right now. So. <laughs> this set goes for myself. It's something I knew I was gonna have to do. You know, um, even if I didn't get hurt, uh, just my mindset going into the off season is to get stronger no matter what. Like, I, like last year, I was telling TV, I was telling you know Joe Mix, I was telling him that I'm gonna be stronger coming into the next season. So, and I felt like that's what I've done. Yeah, I can always improve on on my route running, you know. Uh, but you know, I feel like I'm more explosive coming out. Coming off the ball, and you know, um, I mean that's what that's a, that's what you want to be in a receiver. You know, you want to be explosive. So um, just watching my film last year, I wasn't really explosive. I was just you know, pity patting around. And this year, I feel like uh, I can't. I, I know I can't do that. I got to come out and, and just be a dominant player that I know I am. Yeah, uh, you know, these guys are, these DBs are in the right position most of the time. So uh, you're going to get a lot more contested catches than you would in college. And so I just got to be strong through the uh, point of attack. So. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, the first, what, three games, you know, I was just getting my feet wet. And you now I, as the season progressed, you know, I, I just felt like I just knew that I had to, you know, be stronger. And, Going up for a ball, so that's what I did. Um, like I was saying earlier, you know, just being stronger, more physical, and playing faster. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, um, just playing the game is fun, but. Those guys make it even more, even better, you know. And then we learn from each other, you know. It's it's things that I do that Jamar and Tyler doesn't, and it's things that they do that I don't. And you know, we just learn. We just I can put what what Jamar does and, and put it in my game and, and use it certain techniques, and it's just it's just fun to learn out those guys, and it's just a blast playing with them. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, like yesterday before practice, we, we looked at each other and we're just like, we got to go out there and ball. It's, it's our time. You know, we got to go out there and produce for our team. And, you know, they count on us just like we count on them. So we got to go out there and just do our job. Yeah. Um, so, you know, me growing up, I didn't have a lot. And, you know, uh, just, just growing up in a, you know, rough time, you know, I had to trust the process. 
and you know, just having this ink, just so I look at it as a reminder that it's still still got to stay the course and trust the process no matter what. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Trey and, and Woozy, these guys are, are are the real deal. You know, um, they're giving us tough looks, and you know that's all we want is a guy to give us tough looks and you know that be their best. You know, that make us better as a team. And so I mean, they, they look good for sure. They look good. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be both. You never know. I mean, I feel like it'd be easier. Uh, guys won't be looking to double me as much and. Or Tyler, and um, just having him on the other side of me is just—it gives me more confidence that I can go out there and, you know, challenge each other, challenge each other, challenge each other to, you know, go out there and get that 1K no matter what. So. Oh uh, no, we, even if I don't get 1K, as long as one of us do, I'm, I'm happy no matter what. You know, that's 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 our mindset going into the uh, season is just, as long as one of us eat, it's we're good. I mean, why not? You know, so, I mean, why not? We're, we're all elite players. You know, we're all, all, all three of us are elite. So, I mean, I feel like all of us can go out there and get that one kick. Oh, man, it feels good to have him back. You know, we, we miss Joe, man. Uh, he's out there, he's, he's looking good, throwing the ball better than ever. And, it just it feels good to have it back. You can just tell he's more confident, you know, um, in the things that he's doing, you know, how he's coming in the huddle, he's in the meetings, he's telling us what he wants, you know, now, and, and that's all you want in the quarterback, you know, so he's just way more confident in what he does. Uh, we, we followed each other on Instagram and, and Twitter. But I didn't really know him as well until he got here. No. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Uh, he's just, he's going to be himself no matter what. And, you know, you know how Louisiana people talk. They, they all talk the same. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can't hear, like him and Puka, I can't hear them talk. They talk so low. And some of their slang is rubbing off on me. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> son? What you doing, son? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's just who he is. But I'm also I also wasn't surprised because I've seen a guy like when I was at Clemson, my, my good friend Amari Rogers, you know, he came back in five months from an ACL injury. Yeah, he played. And I've seen it happen, so once, once I, once they said he was gonna be all right, I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's nothing now. So. Yeah, man, this is, this is gonna be fun. You know, just to see him improve. You know, knowing that him knowing that he needs to work on it is just, it's good for him. You know, because I'm gonna be out there. Jamar's going to be out there, Tyler's going to be out there, Tate's going to be out there, all of us going to be out there for him to put it out there. So, I mean, just we just got to come out with the ball. Yeah, I feel like it as in, you know, coming out, you know, breaking the huddle and, Really knowing what I'm doing, seeing what the defense is in, uh, knowing which how to run the route or which release I want to do. You know, uh, I feel like it's definitely going to be a big jump in that perspective. How hard you guys to make a change? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I mean it's there. The chemistry is there. Uh, you know. Is it? I mean, it's, it's all I can really say. The chemistry is there. I mean, we got the OTAs, you know. So him and 
Jamar, they picked up right where they left off at LSU. And, you know, we picked up right where we left off last year. So, yeah, we go, we go. I know, I know Jamar, he, he's going to want to do the gritty. So, I got to learn how to do the gritty. And this and that. But we got some other stuff in the works. I got, I definitely got to do the little sensory stuff that everybody don't want me to do. So, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to practice that a little bit and crank it up in the game. It's just going to have rhythm. I got it, baby. Well, I mean, I just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. One more time. I actually had less because I was, you know, I was everywhere training. So, mom's coming in this weekend. Definitely will have it. Best believe that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Denzel Ward, uh, he's a quick, quick defensive back. Uh, he's he's a hard player. He he's, might be small, but he's a, you know, he's going to be a tough player and has a lot of grit. And that's a guy that, you know, I came off the field like this guy is going to be a great DB. So. Yeah. 